Welcome to the first ever World Golf Trick Shot Championship. Prepare to be amazed. The first ever World Golf Trick Shot Championships has brought together 11 of the very best trick artists in the world. For most golfers, just actually hitting the ball reasonably straight um, is, is, is their objective. So when they actually see pros who can skillfully play all different sort of shots and using very weird and different sort of clubs, that that's really gets their attention. Some people will be amazed by the accuracy of the guys with the shots they're playing. Some will be amazed by the distance, which is hopefully my little angle. I think it's trying to get people to relate to things that they do on a normal Saturday medal and then seeing somebody do it so much better. I've been doing my show for 11 years and during that time I've always hoped that there would be some sort of a competition where trick shot artists from all over the world could get together and compete. I'm really, really looking forward to it. What are you looking for particularly today? Um, I, I think the, for me the entertainment value is the most important thing. I know that they can all hit the ball very well but it's the presentation of their show that, that I'm looking for. I, I want to be entertained, I want to really laugh uh, and I want to also marvel at the quality of maybe the strike of, of the guys. I want to see the ball being hit properly which is important to me as a professional. Now if you can't see that it's bloody miles. There's more to it now than hitting trick shots. When we started this years ago in corporate golf days, with the likes of Noel Hunt, Malcolm Briggs and Tommy Horton, it was all about quality of shots. It's now about entertainment and quality of shots. Ah, come on, Divot. <laughs> Anyone in particular stand out for you? Um, yes, I thought Paul Barrington did stand out. Uh, the entertainment value of his show was exceptional, but uh, looking from a professional perspective, the quality of his strike, the distance that he hit his shots was really marvellous. It's very difficult in the 14 minutes to squeeze all that in and impress the judges. And get the right blend of comedy, because you can't be funny for 14 minutes. But there was two or three things that each of them did that you'll remember. We've all got one, we use them daily. It's the toilet. There you go. You guys ever see a plane take off the deck of a carrier, kind of rises up into the air? This is my F-14 fighter plane shot. Pretty cool, huh? Thank you. Some show so far, Ewan. Fantastic. Uh, a much higher quality than I ever thought was possible. We've seen trick shots for the last 25 years. It's a bit like the tournament players. They've got better and so the trick shot artists. Oh! Uh, technically, I thought the guys were brilliant in that section. Um, ben Witter with his airborne shots are, are really tremendous. And Jeremy Dale, I think, is one of the great trick shot performers. I think nobody would appreciate the hours and hours and hours that would need to be spent to learn these shots, these variations on shots. So we have a winner. We give him a great big hand, Paul Barrington. Thank you very much. Thank you.